Thank you for joining me. I'm Brian Shields and thank you for sharing this channel with your friends and family. Now, they're lining up. The tropical waves are starting to line up. I'm not seeing development out of these tropical waves. Again, I pass along, have to pass along bad news sometimes. Also good news. This is mainly good news because they won't develop, but they will increase the chance of rain. So in this video, I want to cover that, the increased chance of rain with this, which is the first tropical wave of the season that came off of Africa about a week, week and a half ago. I want to talk about this, how new spots will get get some rain because of that and one spot though in the tropics that could develop some so I'm going to dive into that that's off the southeast coast of the United States so plenty to cover it is getting busier I want to track the rain and then that rain chance will be increasing as we get into next week and I'll show you why here across uh, the the big picture with what we're seeing across the Caribbean Gulf over toward the Atlantic by the Bahamas scattered showers and storms we've been seeing that by the way there was an earthquake near Panama and Colombia no tsunami threat out of that I want you to know I monitor all of of that the earthquakes and again if there were to be any tsunami threat I'll do my best to give you a heads up on all of that but let's dive into it let's dive into the weather now we've been talking about this together for about I think it's been about two weeks maybe two and a half weeks if I go back and look at some of my old videos of this spot that could develop now the National Hurricane Center as of yesterday started to latch on to the idea that there could be some development here so here's the Caribbean Gulf of Mexico so if you're out and about and you hear of uh, a name system the next couple of days it would be this up off the coast of the Carolinas Odds are it doesn't get a name, but I just like to let you know if you hear of something, hey, something developed out there, that's where it is. I want you to have the big picture on everything and what we're seeing out there. The hurricane season does start June 1st, so we're officially a week away from that. In May, historically, there's been four hurricanes in the month of May. We haven't had anything close to developing this month until now, that spot in the uh, southeast uh, United States. And I want to show you that. I'm going to dive into that with our tropical model, the wide picture to show you that. But again, here back in the Caribbean, let me show you uh, over toward the eastern Pacific as well. Not seeing any development here. Some of the models we're hinting at that, but not seeing any development there. So let me show you what we're seeing. Okay, I mentioned some new spots could get some rain. Some of the rain in Venezuela and Colombia may start to drift up to the north. So Aruba, Curacao, and Bonaire, not saying we're definitely going to get rain, but that chance of rain will get a little higher. Elsewhere, spotty showers. Yesterday, we were talking about how uh, the rain chance would be a little bit higher yesterday in Belize, and that did turn out to be the case. Still, not all of us got some rain, but finally, we're at least seeing a little uptick in that rain chance. Belize and Honduras, spotty showers elsewhere, Guyana and Suriname watching that. But let me take you forward and show you what happens. Let me stop it here. I'm going to bring you into our Friday. Again, watching Panama, Costa Rica, that chance of rain. But you see right there, I mentioned some of it feeding to the north. There's really nothing to block this. All the systems have kind of been going almost nor uh, south to north. So some of that moisture may find us in Aruba, Curacao, and uh, Bonaire. And again, lifting up toward the Dominican Republic, where we did have isolated flooding. Thank you for those comments, by the way, in the DR yesterday. Spotty showers hours will be the rule. Dominica, Martinique, Guadalupe, St. Lucia, and Barbados tomorrow. But let's pull forward. Let me stop it here. Late on our Saturday, pop-up showers and storms, late day showers and storms. Haiti, the Dominican Republic on Saturday. And you see here some of this rain starting to feed back toward Trinidad and Tobago, Grenada, St. Vincent, and the Grenadines. That first tropical wave, while it won't develop, it does change the pattern. Again, things are going to get a little bit rainier as we get into the month of June. And look at this. As the first tropical wave moves across, it does enhance the chance of rain. This is by the time we get into Sunday. See a little more green on the map. Trinidad, a better chance of some rain and spotty showers elsewhere. Cayman Islands, we've been too dry. Rain chance is going to creep up. Jamaica, afternoon showers and storms. I'll dive into specific forecasts at the tail end of this video for you. I want to get into that. First, I want to show you the big picture and then I'll get into the rain totals. Here's what's going on. Gulf, Caribbean, Atlantic, Bermuda, my friends in Bermuda right there. You see this blob of rain. It has been so wet across Florida and what's going to happen is this rain's going to start to move off. It already has and it will kind of uh, spin a little bit out here. Now, this area may not develop into something truly tropical. It could become a, tro a subtropical system, but either way, this is where there could be some development, especially tomorrow into early Saturday. It'll help enhance the chance of rain over by Bermuda. We're going to see more rain moving in and then this will quickly lift up across South Carolina in North Carolina. So again, a small window of development. 
But if you do hear that something did develop, and I'll keep you posted on that, uh, this is where it is, watching this, and then you see by the time we get into Saturday, that rain will be spreading more up to the north. Still that chance of rain in Bermuda on Saturday. So two-day rain totals. Now, this is through tomorrow night, through so through Friday night. But as I mentioned, Sunday into early next week, that rain chance is going to start to go up. So a lot of blue on the map. So if you do get a thunderstorm or a passing shower, 25 millimeters to an inch of rain possible, a little bit more over 50 millimeters in parts of Guyana. Heads up though, if you've had flooding, like I mentioned, in the Dominican Republic yesterday, and you get a quick uh, 25 millimeters of rain, quick inch of rain, that could lead to some more street flooding. Spotty showers, a slightly higher chance, northern Venezuela, Colombia, and again, some of that could feed back toward the ABC Islands. Hit or miss variety still in Belize, but down the road, things will pick up, and at least the rain chance ticking up over toward the Cayman Islands. Still watching out for the afternoon storms, both my friends in Jamaica and over toward Cuba. So so let me break down some of the forecasts for us as we go forward. You see in Belize, now this isn't a high chance of rain, but at least it's better than that 5-10% chance we were running a week or two ago. Today, tomorrow, and Saturday, a 30% chance of some showers and storms. Cayman Islands, same kind of situation. Rain chance isn't super high. It's not a guarantee, but a 30 to 40% chance as we go over the next couple days. We'll watch out for some afternoon, evening thunderstorms possible in Jamaica. 50% chance today. 40% chance tomorrow over toward Montego Bay and Falmouth. And a 50% chance by the time we get into Saturday. And then we get to the Dominican Republic, isolated to scattered showers and storms a steady 40% chance into early into the uh, weekend. Now, as we get toward Guadeloupe and Martinique, a 30 to 40% chance of rain. Again, nudging up a little bit as a tropical wave moves by on Sunday. That'll help give us a slightly better chance of rain as we work our way into Sunday and Monday. Same thing in Barbados. 30 to 40% chance the next couple days. By the time though we get into Sunday, the rain chance about 40 to 50% with that first tropical wave nearby. Same thing, that trend goes up. Trinidad and Tobago, 40 to 50% chance the next couple days getting a little bit higher as we work into the weekend over by Port of Spain. We'll see a better chance of some rain. So let me break things down, talking about what's next. Again, these tropical waves are changing the pattern. Three out there, a monitor. They're not going to develop into a tropical system, uh, but they will change the pattern and then we'll watch more tropical waves coming off the coast of Africa so that rain chance will be getting higher by Sunday especially across the southeastern Caribbean and I'll keep an eye on the short term that development possible near the United States southeast uh, coastline rain chance though going up as a whole across early June I mentioned the earthquakes tsunami threats stuff like that and volcanoes I mentioned uh, there's a couple volcanoes out there we've got one near Mexico City uh, that is erupting one in Colombia watching over toward Guatemala uh, Again, we've had earthquakes. I cover that on Earth QC. Be sure to subscribe to that. Uh, you could search Earth QC on YouTube. Subscribe to that, and I'll give you the latest on those videos on that front. Until then, thank you for uh, dealing with me, and I hope you have a good rest of your day.